In this video, I'll be describing the different types of data that are necessary to run the tutorial in the end-to-end -end fashion. First, I'll give a brief overview of the data sets themselves, and then I'll separate out into two videos. One video describing how to access and download the data from the web, and another on how to access the data from NCARS HPC systems on the Glade file system. The first data set that I'll be talking about is static geographical data, or what we refer to as WPS geog data. And that is data that is interpolated to the model domain as defined by the GeoGrid program in WPS. I should note that in order to reduce the file size, we are only providing a subset of the coarsest static geographical data. In addition to the WPS GIAG data, we're also providing model initialization data, and that data is processed through WPS and the real.exe program, and it is used to supply the initial and lateral boundary conditions for the model integration. In addition to the case-specific model initialization data, we're also providing case-specific verification data. We're providing gridded precipitation analyses in order to do grid-to-grid -grid verification of the model forecasts. And we're also providing point data, both at the surface and in the upper air, to provide the capability to do grid-to-point verification. Additionally, we provide a tarball if you want to run the GSI data simulation that contains the CRTM coefficient files. And then we also provide a tarball that contains shape files, and those are needed for running the Python plotting scripts.